Hi, this is Natalie Lucier, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to add an opt-in box for your email list at the end of a blog post. So here I am in the WordPress dashboard. I'm going to go under plugins and then add new, and then I'm going to search for the plugin. So the plugin is called Magic Action Box Pro. So let's search for that. Okay, we're going to click on install now. Yes, we do, and we're going to activate this plugin. All right, so now as you can see, these action boxes have showed up here. So we're just going to go ahead and go under action boxes, add new. And this is where we want to choose opt in form. Okay, so now for the title, let's say um, get updates. So let's check out some of those pre-configured styles, like maybe the default one. So that's what this would look like if we went with the default. If we went with dark, it would be dark, um, blue, pink, or none. So I'm actually just going to go with the default one for now. And now here, this is where we actually want to paste our form code. Okay, so now I'm here in Aweber. I'm going to click on Web Forms right here at the top and then create a new web form. Okay, so we can actually just go under popular and I like to choose this basic one here. I'm going to load that template right up and then you can just remove some of these extra things that you might not actually want um, in terms of your setup. And I'm going to go to step two. So um, right now I'll just call this test and you can also choose the thank you page. If you have a custom URL, you can change that. These are all the default settings that you can go ahead and change in Aweber. So I'm going to save this form and now I will get my form code. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the raw HTML version which is this one with all this code and then I'm going to go ahead and drop that into the opt-in form code area just as it is and then you can specify the text again here so maybe it will be um, get it now. Let's process the code so now it's basically removed some of that extra formatting and made it easier for us to uh, fit into this uh, template here. Now I'm going to go ahead and add all of these settings. So the main headline will be like, get free weekly updates in your inbox. Subheading, if we want anything, we don't need to have anything. Um, grab your free subscription and get all kinds of good stuff. And then you can also put other copy that's um, after. So we promise never to spam. And you can also choose an image to have side by side. You can also have an image at the top. I'm actually just gonna leave this blank to see how, how it looks first. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, publish this. Okay, so the next step is to go into any of your blog posts that you want to have this box show up under and then go and select the one that we just created and choose where you want to appear either before or after the content and then just click update and then you refresh your page and you'll see the new box that we created so now this is just kind of the default look and feel so let's go here and edit what this will actually look like. So this was the default. Let's go with um, a pink one and let's also just remove the image that I had added here. And let's go ahead and update. Great, so as you can see it has, you know, the content, the opt-in, and you can change the colors and all of those things under um, styles and buttons. So I'm going to click styles and buttons here. So this is just the default one. Let's just edit that default style. Um, so we can choose, you know, the border. We can choose a different color over here. We can have a background image. So right now it has a nice kind of grayish background. Let's make that a bit, um, you know, a little bit pink again. Um, we can choose the, the background and the margins. Um, let's also, that seems good. And then let's look at the form elements that we want to change. So let's 
the submit button. So if we want the submit button to be a different color, uh, we can also do that. So maybe I want it to be, you know, I'm just going kind of a little bit wild here, but definitely go ahead and play around with these. So actually, so here's how we would choose. We'd go under user styles and the default one that we were editing. We'll click update. And then let's see what the, this will actually look like here. Great, so as you can see, it's a little bit wacky because we were using the funky colors and stuff like that, but it does have our Aweber form in here. And now let me just show you real quick how to do this for MailChimp. So here I am in MailChimp, I'm gonna go under lists. Okay, so here I have all the forms. I'm gonna click on share it right here and then create HTML code for a small subscribe form. That's what I wanna do. And then I'm gonna copy and paste this code right here and put that back into our WordPress opt-in form code. And then I'm gonna click on process code. So that will basically handle all the differences in formatting and I'm gonna click update. Okay, and now let's refresh our post here. Great, so now this is actually done using MailChimp and obviously you can remove some of that stuff in the code, but now it has that email opt-in and the get it now and it's all done through this uh, Magic Action Box <laughs> Pro plugin that we installed. So that's how you would go ahead and add a really simple opt-in to the bottom of all your blog posts and um, you will need to actually go in and choose which one you want. It says that you can use uh, you can specify the default action box to use in the main settings, but I actually don't see that to be the case. Maybe it's something that the plugin authors are going to be updating soon. So definitely keep an eye out on that functionality when it's made available. So thanks so much for watching. This has been Natalie Lucier. I hope this helped you see how you can also add an opt-in box at the end of your blog posts, no matter which theme you're using. And if you're using a premium theme like Thesis or Headway or Genesis, there are actually some built-in functionalities there that you can use and instead of using this um, specific plugin, but this should work across the board no matter what theme you're using. So please give this video a thumbs up if you got some great information and some tidbits out of it and subscribe on YouTube and then head back over to Get Techie Now or natalielucier.com to grab more of these videos and just really rock your online presence. Thanks so much. Catch you later.